Today I'm going to show you how to secure your browser. Let's go down to Chrome and click on Chrome. Let's go up here to these three dots, click on that. Let's go down to More Tools and Extensions. We'll click on Extensions and open that up. Let's go over here to these three slashes. And down here to Open Chrome Web Store. We're going to open that up so we can get some extensions and add those to this browser. The first one I'd like to recommend is called uBlock Origin. It's a really good pop-up blocker. It's really fast. It doesn't take much CPU or memory. And it's had a lot of uh, a lot of recommendations by a lot of people. So let's go ahead and add this to Chrome. We're going to add the extension here. And it's asking us to sync this with our other devices, but I don't have this system logged in right now with Chrome, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the X. It's still going to load the extension, but it's not going to be part of the uh, of the sync with my other devices. So we've got that one loaded. Let's go on to the next one. I like HTTPS. This is made by uh, EFF.org. They do a lot of privacy stuff, and they help consumers quite a bit. I like that. Uh, I like their website a lot. I like this extension a lot. This is one of two that we'll be loading from them. Let's go ahead and add this to Chrome. Add this extension. There again, it wants to sync. I'm just going to click on the X. It'll still load this extension. Basically, what HTTPS is, is it encrypts your website. When it asks for information from a from a website, it encrypts it between the website and your browser. All right, let's look for the next one. This one is called Minor Block. Now, there's a few of these. I tend to like this one right here. It's got the most people installing it. Basically, what this does is it prevents uh, people from loading malware on your computer that use your computer to mine for Bitcoin on their behalf. So it uses your computer resources to mine for Bitcoin. You don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and add this extension. Click on this X again because we're not logged in. All right. And the next one is called Privacy Badger. This one is also made by EFF. This does a lot of uh, privacy tracking, uh, blocking. It uh, stops a lot of that stuff, which keeps you private on the Internet, which is something that you want. There's too much of your information that's out there right now, and this helps block lots of information. So let's go ahead and add this to Chrome. Add this extension. It's going to take you to their web page and give you a tour of this, but we don't need to do this right now. So we're going to go ahead and close this page. The next extension we're going to look at is called Web of Trust. So let's go back up here again to these three slashes. Go down here to open Chrome Web Store again. Type in W-O-T. Trust. Web of Trust is basically like a, a stoplight. The stoplight will tell you whether the website is good or bad, depending upon how many votes it's gotten in the past by people. Um, it's something that's uh, it's interesting. You can use it and try it if you like it. Keep it. If not, remove it from the system. But it, it's, uh, it's a reputation type thing. So let's go ahead and add it to Chrome. Add extension. Click this little X again. It's going to take you to their website because they're trying to get you to get their mobile version as well. But we don't need that right now. We'll go ahead and close this. Close this. Now the next thing that I like to do is I like to load something called DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is a, uh, is a website that uh, is a search engine 
unlike Google, it doesn't track you. Um, Google tracks everything you do. DuckDuckGo does not. So let's go ahead and open up this uh, web page here. And immediately it's going to ask you to add it to Chrome. Let's go ahead and do that because that's going to help you block advertising trackers, keep you secure. You know, you can basically take control of your personal data so it's not being tracked all the time. Let's go ahead and add that. And we'll click here, add to Chrome, add extension. It's going to take you to the website again here. All right, let's close this, close this, close this. So basically, basically when you do a search, you see the little, the little icon here, the little duck. That means you're searching with DuckDuckGo. So if I'm looking for something like fitness, it's all going through DuckDuckGo. So let's go ahead and close this. Of course, Google is trying to get you to switch back to them. We don't need to do that, so we're going to say keep changes. Let's go ahead and close this button here. Let's go back to these three dots here. Let's go to more tools again, and then extensions. This will give you an idea of all the extensions that we just loaded on the system. I want to show you one other thing. If I open up a web page, let's, let's say msn.com. And then what this will do is it'll show you different things on the, the page that are being blocked. Ublock Origin has already blocked 11, 12 things on this page. HTTPS has made sure that your connection is secure with seven different items. There's no minor information on here. Privacy Badgers blocked three things. And Web of Trust says that this page is good. So you're looking at a good page. You know, they're, they're a large website, so you'll know that they're good. But... They still, there, there's a lot of things on here that they try to pop up to you or they try to advertise to you or, you know, just things that aren't very secure. So these things are a really good way to secure you from, from prying eyes and from malware. So now let's go ahead and close all this out here. And a few things that I'm loading on the, uh, on my computer just to keep me more secure is uh, one is malware bytes. I like malware bytes a lot. Um, it protects you from malware. And then also I like uh, Avast. I like Avast a lot. Uh, it helps you against antiviruses, malware. It uh, puts a lot of things on the computer that really protect you as well. I'm going to put links to everything we discussed in the description, so please check that out. Please like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions, please let me know about what we talked about here. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Thank you.